These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now Holston and Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS2 game tutorial today. Recently I was helping a YouTube subscriber, Peter, from Canada. We had such great success that I decided it would be a great idea to turn this into a full-blown tutorial for the rest of you guys. So basically, I'm going to show you how to use Windows 10 and the WinHip program to properly transfer PS2 images to your IDE hard drive so then you can use that with your modded fat PS2 whether that's you know free McBoot or maybe a mod chip for example so let's go over the the basic scenario where you get error codes so right now assume that you have a, your PS2 hard drive connected through a USB adapter and you have the master jumper installed so you what you do so you run the WinHip program 176 see the video description I got a link to download a copy if you need it and you right click some people don't do this, but they forget to do this. Right click and run as administrator, and then click the OK prompt. This allows the program to see all your hard drives. So I go to select drive, and drive four just happens to be my PS2 hard drive. I click on it, and I get an error code. And now if I try to go to format the drive, if your hard drive is 128 gigabytes or higher, you want to use the HD loader 48-bit. So I click OK, and I try to format it, and I get all this error codes so what do you do now do you give up well most gamers do but I'm going to show you how to fix that right now so what we're going to do is we're going to go to control panel so let's go to control panel and then from control panel we're going to go into um, administrative tools administrative tools we're going to go into computer management and then from computer management click on disk management on the left hand side scroll down and find your PS2 hard drive. So I don't have any important data on my hard drive here. If I were to go to Windows Explorer real quick, go inside here, it's, it's format is NTFS, it's 250 gigabytes. I have this empty folder here just for a testing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually right click and delete it. Delete that partition. So now it's just unallocated raw hard drive. Now everything's gonna work. Let's try this one more time. So we're going to run the WinHip program, right click, run as administrator, click OK, click on select drive. Now we select the PS2 drive. OK, we're going to get these messages, fine. And I already had a game on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to format this guy. So I'm going to go to format drive, HD loader, 48-bit, I'm larger than 128 gigabytes, click OK, click yes, and we're going to format this guy. Great. If you see this you're doing pretty damn good so far. So congrats to you. Pat yourself on the back. So once your erase drive has completed, now you can go like crazy and start adding all the games that you want from your PS2 library hard drive to your hard drive here. So what I'm going to do as a test is I'm going to go to add image. I'm going to say image file. On my desktop, I have a folder here. So let's go to desktop. And I have a game here as an ISO format. So I'm going to say open. And I'm going to say, you can add more images if you want. I'm going to click on start. And I'm going to leave it as a default here. I'm going to say OK. And now it's in process of transferring that game um, to my hard drive. So depending on the size of your game, it's going to take, who knows? I don't know, two minutes, five minutes, whatever, less than a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause slash edit the video. And we will recontinue once the game has finished copying over to my hard drive. All right, so we're just about done. It's just finished copying the image. The image has been installed. You click OK. And then that's it. If you want to add more games, do the same process. Maybe you have it uh, already mounted or you can add the image file. Keep on doing it over and over and over. Once you're done, go ahead and click on Exit. Go down here, eject your USB, and then plug it into your FAT PS2. Open OPL 0.9.3, for example, and just see your list of games and start playing. So that is... WinHip, Windows 10, I'm running 64-bit, no issues. I'm sure it's going to work if you have Windows 8 or 8.1 or Windows 7. Do the same process, do the same method, and you'll be good to go. So that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.